Hi Mark, this is my garage and today we're going to go over lubing the cables on your bike. Why is this important? Because if your, ca your cable is made of a wire, and if that wire snaps, you'll lose control of either your throttle, which means you can't give it gas on the road, or you'll lose control of your clutch, which means you can't shift when you're on the road. This is obviously less dangerous because you can stay in the current gear and move off to the side until you find a good place to stall out the bike. But this, if you lose control of your gas, uh, being able to give throttle, uh, then you're in a world of trouble. It's such a quick and easy job that I like to do this every time I change my fluids, so every 2,500 miles. Uh, let's go with the easier of the two, and that's going to be the clutch cable here. You want to get a bottle of cable lube. Uh, any brand is fine, but make sure it specifically says cable lube and not any other type of lubricant that may deteriorate something within the system here. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull the clutch, I turn the fork all the way to the right, I open up the, uh, the clutch handle, okay, and if you can see in there, right, follow the red straw, that right there is the beginning of the clutch cable, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a three second rule of squirting, alright, but anytime you work with this uh, fluids that are spraying, Make sure you wear uh, safety goggles. And I'm just going to use a three second rule of spraying. I'm going to get this straw in there, right at the tip. And I'm going to go one, two, three. And I'll work it back and forth a little bit. Okay. And maybe one other squirt for good measure. Okay. Then we're going to come over to this side. The throttle cable is a little bit more involved, okay, because you have to take apart the assembly. So I'm going to tilt this like so. I like having it roughly even. And there's two bolts here. One is on the top here, come over this side. And the other, and this is a big dog chopper 2005, and the other is down here. Your bike may be different, that's fine. Just figure out how to separate the assembly. Sometimes these bolts don't come out all the way. That's fine, as long as you can separate the assembly. And now I can feel this assembly is separatable now. So what I'm going to do is I got my trusty cable lube and what you want to do is shine right in there because we want to see the cables. Now at this point I'm going to have one hand kind of on the cables themselves, the throttle cable and the return cable, and then on the other hand, obviously spraying the uh, the lube. So here it really helps if a buddy can sort of cup this in place. Now These two nuts, if you go from where I'm looking, okay, that's one, that's the other right? I don't need to pop those out at all. What I'm going to do is I'm going to lube it up in here where the cable goes into the housing, okay? Into the sheath, I should say. So from right there, if you look at that, I'll do a little squirt first, and then once I know that's in there, it's not flying back, I'm going to do a one, two, three count, okay? Now, because that sheath starts here and there's a little bit more here, I'm going to give it just a little bit of lube over here also. And as well as on the other cable. If you take this completely apart and take the cables off of the hinges, 
there are ways to get this, uh, I guess, better lubed up. But because I'm doing this so frequently, I'm, get, I'm pretty confident that I'm getting all that lube in there. So I personally would rather lube more frequently and not have to take the entire thing apart, right? Rather than making it a big project once, once in a blue moon. So once you tighten these up, your cables have been lubed and you're good to go. And that's how you lube your cables on your bike. Thanks for watching.